a lot of you guys wanted to see me make the next beginner PKing account build from the previous video that I made. So this is going to be the next beginner PKing account build. So let's say we want to move on with our beginner PKing account and we want to go to the next account build that most people would go to. That's going to be a low level DDS pure. So we need to get ourselves 60 attacks, 75 strength and 75 ranged as well as some magic levels because... We can afford quite a few. Of course, while I use the expensive methods, you do not need to use the expensive methods. I'll show you the cheaper methods to doing this as well. For 50 attack, the Granite Hammer is the best in slot weapon to train with. A good cheaper replacement would be a Brine Saber, and an even cheaper replacement would be a Rune Scimitar. So once more, when it comes to a cheaper setup when training melee, this is the setup that I would go for. When it comes to the expensive setup, I'm going to be using a Berserker Ring, a Regent Bracelet, an Amulet of Fury, as well as a granite hammer since this is all what you use to have the best possible xp per hour on this account as well as super combats and sharks so i can stay there for longer now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to show you guys a secret training spot that requires two quests to complete and while i do expect that it will bring a lot more people there it should have other spots at sand crabs be a lot less packed so overall it should be a much better distribution of people training at sand crabs all right there we go so that is client of karen complete and oh and since we need 20 percent hasidious favor for our next quest which is the depth of the the depths of despair I put it on Hasidious Favor, so I am going to go do the Depths of Despair now. Then I can actually show you the spot. So it actually turns out that you don't need to do the entire quest of the Depths of Despair. You just kind of need to start it. If you go to Land's End, then you come right here northeast. You can see this little dungeon icon right here. You go down. Since obviously you need to start the quest, you can't go down unless you start the quest and get to this point. Then there's Sand Crab spots right here. There is a, I think it's a three or four spot, and I'm pretty sure it's like a five spot right there. It's just, overall, this is a very good place to train. It's super AFK, very non-competitive at the moment, and I'm assuming that in the future it will be more competitive. But, at the same time, that means the other spots won't be as competitive, which is nice to see. So the nicest thing about this spot right here is every time you need to go reset, it's a very short walk. You leave and enter the cave again, and every time you need to go bank, there is a bank booth right here. It's super convenient. Doesn't cost you 10k to get onto the island. Best spot to train low level overall, in my opinion. Having literally every freaking crab in here attack you. Well, aside from a few. But look at this. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 crabs stacked up. Too busy eating popcorn to miss a freaking level. 60 attack. Um, I should be doing quests at the moment, but because I'm AFKing two accounts, I may as well just train this a little bit more. Here we go. 72 strength. I think I'm going to be done with my strength for now, and I want to get a few ranged levels, and then we need to get some quests done. Currently, I am using one of the best range training methods in the game if you do not have prayer. I'm not normally able to cannon monsters like this, like the lesser demons, which is very good experience. So Kemp Q showed me a method where you can get very good range experience without actually needing prayer. What I'm doing right now is I'm using a crossbow as well as cannoning the lesser demons. And with only 66 ranged, I am currently getting nearly 120k experience an hour in range. And I could be doing this a little bit more efficiently. So what you need to do to make this method actually work is you place down the cannon. Then you have four different accounts stand around you just so they can tank the hits of the lesser demons and then after anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes the lesser demons will de-aggro these four accounts and at this point they will only be focused on this main account and it is not able to actually get hit since it is protected by these four accounts right here there we go 70 ranged so we are done training this account. Again, there are so many different methods that you can use to train. The one I was doing in the wilderness was probably the best, but I kept getting attacked there. So again, the one place that you can train, aside from either cannoning or doing whatever, without prayer is once more sand crabs. 
I would highly suggest that you do the Ava's Accumulator quest first, but while I train this account, I do other things uh, and, you know, make other videos, so that's why I didn't do it, so I don't mind the GP loss. So the expensive method ended up costing me a few mil, but if you wanted to do this the cheap route, again, you just use Myth Darts, and because you have an Ava's Accumulator, you save so much on GP, so you'd probably spend a couple hundred K on the Myth Darts that you would use just in general. All right, so since we actually have prayer in this account now, it only makes sense to go and get ourselves the Ava's accumulator. I'd heavily recommend actually getting the Ava's beforehand. So we're going to do the Restless Ghost first, and then we're going to work our way towards actually getting the Ava's quest done. And then we have to get all the other quests done anyway. So we have a lot of quests to do right now, so we can catch up to this account build. There you go. All right, that's that quest done. Now we got to go get literally all the other ones done. Really quick, there is going to be a quest list in the description down below, so if you don't follow with the exact quest list by watching the video, you can just check down there. Anyway, this is Ernest the Chicken done, and we need to get ourselves Lost City, and for that, you need some woodcutting levels, and if you want some decent XP to start with, you can just go and do Monk's Friend, and of course, since we like to do things as fast as possible, that's what we're going to do. Whoop, whoop. All right, so instead of actually training my woodcutting to I think level 13 is what I'll get. I just do this quest instead. It took less than five minutes. You know the idea that I want to go for with this account. Do everything as fast as possible. So I feel like this is just the smarter idea. So since I want to get my magic level up anyway, I'm going to train my magic level to 46 so I can get the requirements for the Eyes of Gluffrey. That too should give me some woodcutting experience as well as the Crystal Saw for when I eventually want to work on my construction. It's just good overall. It's more efficient to get that done, that quest done. Now what I could have done to get my magic level up was just sat there and splashed and it would have taken a while and not cost me that much but I wanted to do the fastest method for getting my magic level up at a low level so what I did was I enchanted crossbow bolts emerald bolts to be specific I think it's from like 26 to 49 the max experience that you can get is about 220k experience an hour in magic if you do everything efficiently but I was not really doing everything that efficiently and I was getting about like 170 180k magic experience an hour which is very very good at low level Levels. It is expensive to do this method though, keep in mind. So how you actually do this method is you hold down one on your keyboard and just about every tick you keep clicking on enchant crossbow bolts and that should get you the best experience per hour at low levels. It's very good, very costly, and that's what I did to get my magic level up to 46. There we go, 46 magic. So Instead of just getting my wood cutting done, I wanted to get my magic level up because, again, I'm going to eventually get my magic level up on this account anyway for the next next account build because this is just the next account build, obviously. All right, I also needed five construction to actually get this quest started. Now we can go do it. And that should be Eyes of Gluffrey done whenever he wants to stop talking. Here we go, Eyes of Gluffrey. What do we get from that? We have 22 big boy. Look at that, 22 of it. No, no, that's pretty good, though. I'm glad I actually got that done, though, because now I can go get the Crystal Saw, and I have all these other stats that I might not necessarily need right now, but in the future of this account, I might. Here we go. This should be good for me in the future. All right, that is 36 wood cutting, and now I think we need to get ourselves, like, 31 crafting or something like that for DDS. Honestly, don't even know what crafting level I needed, but I just got 36 anyway, so now we can go get the everything done. All right, so the next requirement that I need to do is get myself 18 Slayer. So to get myself 9 Slayer for free, I can just come right down here in the Varrock Museum. You get 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter for free. You just do the little Orlando Smith mini quest. And there we go. Solid 9 levels or technically 8, but you know, you know. All right, 18 Slayer. We're good enough now, although we do need to do a few more quests. All right, that's Priest and Peril done. So now we can go and get ourselves the Animal Magnetism quest done. Wow, I got this quest done in 9 minutes and 19 seconds. I didn't think that you actually could do this quest that fast. Now we can actually use an Ava's Accumulator as well. Let's go buy a lot more because one's not going to cut it. I pretty much do this every time. I always just get like... 2k steel arrows and then I come and just completely fill up my inventory if I have the chance Dude, I remember when you literally had to just sit here and buy them one at a time though So thankfully you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, there you go Gertrude's cat done because you eventually need it for myth gloves You can get this quest done. Honestly, you can get it done in under two minutes But I got really unlucky with which crate you actually try to find the cat in here. We go. That's that quest done now we can wear a dragon dagger. I think like 99% of you guys know this, but for the monkey madness fight, you can literally just run on the bridge and go wait here and then wait for the gnomes to lower it down. Again, 
pretty much everyone knows that, but if you don't, you can do that for Monkey Madness. All right, here we go. Monkey Madness done. Now we can finally use the Dragon Scimitar. One thing I'm going to say, uh, if you do Monkey Madness, it says there's a uh, free XP in the end. Do not get it. Do not talk to Darrow because he's going to give you the XP. No matter what you choose, you will get defense. It will ruin your account. Do not do it. All right, there we go. 31 prayer. So now this account build is done. Of course, there are other things that we could be doing for it. I'm going to be going over those in the next account build. And just to go over the major achievements that we accomplished with this account build so far, we got ourselves an Ava's. We got ourselves the ability to wear a dragon scimitar as well as a dragon dagger. Again, the next video, we're going to be finishing the pure. And I will show you guys what we can use then. But for now, these are our stats and we're going to go PKing with them. Let me show you how to do that next video.